Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel, Math with Mrs. O. I'm Ophelia Orate, a principal owner of a school and a tutorial center, a math teacher, and an author of 21 books. Today, our lesson is Special Right Triangles. Before we start, don't forget to smash the subscribe button and the bell button. Okay, there are two kinds of special right triangles. We have a 30-60-90 triangle and a 45-45-90 triangle. As you have learned, a 45-45-90 triangle is what you call an isosceles right triangle. Let's have the rules first. Rule. Whenever you have a 30-60-90 90 triangle for example this one it will look like this so if this is the a 30 degree angle and this is the 90 degree angle and this is the 60 degree angle when you add them 30 plus 60 is 90 plus 90 is 180 remember the sum of the angles of a triangle is always 90. the side opposite the 30 degree angle here there, the side opposite the 30 degree angle is what we left to be x. The side opposite the 90 degree angle there is 2 times the x, 2 times here. And the side opposite the 60 degree angle is square root of 3 times the x. There. Now, we call this the shorter side. We call this the longest side, which is the hypotenuse. So, as I've said, this will be the longest side. And normally in uh, exams, Teachers call this the longer side. The longer side. There. Let's repeat 30, 60, 90 triangle theorem. The side opposite the 30 degree angle is x, which is the shorter side. Opposite the 90 degree angle is 2 times x, which is what you call the hypotenuse or the longest side. And the side opposite the 60 degree angle is the longer side which is square root of 3 times x. Another rule for a special right triangle it applies for the isosceles right triangle. Let us say we have here a 45-45-90 triangle. As you can see, you have an isosceles triangle, so these two sides are congruent. The side sides opposite the 45 degree angle are congruent. If we let this be x and this be x, your hypotenuse will be square root of 2 times x. There, so now, I'll give you ex exercises and different examples for you to apply these theorems. So let me write here the 45, 45, 90. We call this again, again, an isosceles right triangle. There, example number one. You have the triangle of the OFI. Okay, the angle O is 30 degrees, Fi is 8. We have to look for the value of the measurement of angle I, OF, and OI. Knowing that this is 90 plus 30, that is 120, so this angle I will be 60 degrees. So we have here 60 degrees. Then, apply the 30-60-90 triangle. Opposite the 30 degree angle is x, which is 8, there. So, 
opposite the 90 degree angle is 2 times x. So, OI here is 2 times 8 or 16. So, we have OI is equal to 16. And the side opposite the 60 degree angle is square root of 3 times x. So, opposite the 60 degree angle is OF. This is square root of 3 times x, which is 8. So, you have 8 square root of 3. So, OF here is 8 square root of 3. There. Problem number 2. Problem number 2. So, again, you have triangle dog. This is 30 degrees. DG is 20. You're asked to solve for the measurement of angle D, DA, and AG. Opposite the 30 degree angle here is X. This is the hypotenuse from the rule. It is 2 times X. So therefore, DA must be 20 divided by 2 is 10. So we have here DA is 10. What about the measurement of angle D? Obviously, this is 90, this is 30. So this must be 60. So we have here 60. And then AG in letter F is the side opposite the 60 degree angle. From the 30-60-90 triangle theorem, it is square root of 3 times x. So, square root of 3 times 10, or 10 square root of 3. So, here we have ag is 10 square root of 3. Let's move to problem number 3. Problem number 3, we have here triangle FIL, angle N is 60 degrees, and FI is 15. Measurement of angle F, letter G, letter H is LI, and letter I is LF. Obviously, you have a 90 degree angle here and a 60 degree angle, so this must be 30 degrees. So, Measurement of angle F is 30 degrees. Li. We are given here the side opposite the 60 degree angle, which is 15. And we learned from the 30-60-90 triangle theorem that the side opposite the 60 degree angle is square root of 3 times x. Remember the side opposite the 30 degree angle, Li, is x. There. So, therefore, since 15 is the side opposite the 60 degree angle, 15 is square root of 3 times x. Here. So, we solve for x. We divide both sides by square root of 3 there. You cancel this. So x is 15 over square root of 3. But this is not yet simplified. Remember, there should be no radical in the denominator. To simplify this, we have to rationalize it. Multiply square root of 3 over square root of 3. You get 15 square root of 3 over 3. But wait, there is more. You can still simplify 15 square root of 3 over 3 by canceling 15 by 3 is 5 there. Therefore, x is now equal to 5 times square root of 3. So, li, which is x, is 5 square root of 3. So what is now LF? LF is 2x, or the hypotenuse is 2f. So 2 times 
5 square root of 3 gives you 10 square root of 3. So LF here is 10 square root of 3, which is 2 times 5 square root of 3. Problem number 4. Triangle ENA is obviously an isosceles right triangle. Why? This is 45 degrees, so this must also be 45 degrees. 90 plus 90 is 180, the sum of the angles of a triangle. So, in letter A, we have an answer already, which is 45, or 45 degrees. I N. I N, remember, is always equal to N A. If two angles of a triangle are congruent, then the sides opposite them are congruent. So if N A is 6, I N is also 6. So we have here I N is 6. What about I A? I A from the 45, 45, 90 theorem, the side opposite the 90 degree angle is always square root of 2 times x. So we have here I A is the side opposite the 90 degree angle. We have square root of 2 times the x or the side opposite the 45 degree angle. So this is 6 square root of 2. See, that's how easy it is. If you're given the two congruent sides, you just multiply it by 2, you get the measurement or the length of the hypotenuse. Problem number 5 is also a 45-45 degree triangle. Why? This is already given to be 45 and this is congruent to this side, so therefore this must also be 45. And obviously, this is 90. So the measurement of angle A is 90 degrees. Now, PA. PA and AO are congruent. The given is the hypotenuse. Remember, in, in the 45-45-90 triangle theorem, the hypotenuse here is square root of 2 times x. So how do you solve for x? In other words, this will be your x and this is x. So you divide both sides by square root of 2. You cancel this. You're left with x equals 10 over square root of 2. But this is not yet simplified. The rule is no radical in the denominator. So we have to multiply square root of 2 over square root of 2, we get 10 square root of 2 all over 2. And you can still cancel or simplify 10 over 2 is 5. Therefore, x is equal to 5 square root of 2. So our x is now 5 square root of 2. This is 5 square root of 2, so PA is 5 square root of 2. AO is also 5 square root of 2. Remember, this is congruent to this, AO. Last problem, problem number 6. Uh, these are equal. Yeah, there, yeah, that's a correction. In problem number six, triangle Joa is an isosceles right triangle. The hypotenuse is given to be 8 square root of 6. Remember, the hypotenuse, 8 square root of 6, from our rule, or from the 45-45-90 triangle theorem, is square root of 2 times x. So this... The hypotenuse 8 square root of 6 is square root of 2 times your x, or x. This is going to be our x, j, a, and j, o, x. 
So to solve for x, we just have to divide both sides by square root of 2. This cancels. You're left with x is equal to square root of 2 over square root of 3. Uh, square root of 6 over square root of 2 is square root of 3. Take note of that. When you have square root of 6 over square root of 2, this is simply square root of 6 over 2, which is the square root of 3. So we're left here with square root of 3. And this is understood to be 1. So 8 times square root of 3 is 8 square root of 3. That is the value of x. And x is ja, 8 square root of 3. Oh, I forgot to write this. Angle A will now be 45. And this is 45. Why? Because the sides are congruent. So you have an isosceles right triangle. 180 minus 90 is 90. 90 divided by 2 is 45. So we have here 45. Since JO is equal to JA, then JA is 8 square root of 3, then JO is also 8 square root of 3. There, again, we have done one video. Always remember to add kindness, subtract judgment, multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. Don't forget, smash the subscribe button and the bell button. Thank you. Watch our next video.